as well. Sorry about the wind again, like I said. Uh, but as you can see, decent turnout. Some pretty nice cars. That's my buddy's other 57. You guys seen that one? Okay, folks, this is besides the point of working on the Camaro. We actually had to come and push my brother's toolbox into his house since he works for Snap on now and don't work at Big O. But uh, this is what I was going to make my drift car it's a T Top 82 Trans Am. It's actually a really good car for a drift car. I just decided since it's a T Top car, sorry about the wind, uh, since it's a T Top car, it would make no sense to risk its life, you know drifting but like I was gonna strip this all out and make it a race car but can't really do that now since I got a real race car but as you can see it's a pretty good looking little car the aluminum five spokes or five slots around it make it look pretty good gotta get a new tarp but since I'm selling it I don't really care but man this would have been a great drift car Unfortunately, guys, it's got to go. It's my brother's plow truck, and there's the trailer for the racing. So, all right, guys. Oh, look. We're doing turbo. It's my brother's cat. Turbo. Only cat in that boat that plays with that. All right, let's get to pushing this toolbox. Doesn't sound fun to me, but we got to do it. <laughs> that was not easy, but we got it. That wasn't too hard, actually. But. And there's his dirt bike. Oh, man. When are you gonna get this thing running, by the way? No, not the first one. Sorry about the lighting in here. It's the basement, so. But yeah, we gotta get this thing out. I gotta go dirt biking myself here soon, guys. We have like six dirt bikes. Just gotta go dirt biking. So if you guys were wondering what's under here, it's actually, I think, a stock 305. Man, I always, it's, it's such a pain in the butt. But it's just a stock 350, 305. I'm not too sure. Got headers on it already, but nothing real special as you can see. All right, project car. It would have been great. Oh well, it's got to go bye-bye. Then I'll show you guys the motor on my brother's uh, plow truck. We just put this in like last year, two years ago, something like that. Not a bad looking truck. Gotta love these old Chevys though. Good old Scotchdale. Now you guys know I had one. The old yellow one I had. It's just a little stock crate motor we put in here. Got quadrajet carburetor as you can see there. Yep. But not too bad. Flex fan. Running stock manifolds because A, if you run headers, you go through wires a lot quicker. Wires and all the other shit. Because the heat. But yeah, not a little bad little motor. Nice old coupe. Oh, oh he's oh, gone. I could've, I could've, I could've, it's it. gone. Oh, what a nice car. Bummer. Thought I'd try and get that for you guys. An old 32 Ford coupe. Alright folks, I just got back from my brother's house and called my buddy about working on the race car tomorrow. And we're going to work on that tomorrow, but there's a car show here in about 20 minutes. So I'm actually going to go to the car show even though I can't take the car because no steering wheel. So we're gonna go check out the cars that are there, talk to a few people, definitely get some good footage for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, folks, uh, sorry about the wind once again. It's my D-Day in Colorado, but little local car meet just at the True Value here. Some pretty cool cars, so uh, just gonna roll through the pits and uh, see who is all here. Nice 
old Chevy truck though. Alright folks, well, sorry about the wind again, like I said. Uh, but as you can see, decent turnout, some pretty nice cars. That's my buddy's other 57, you guys seen that one? head back to the house do that center console and see what else we get done maybe put that grill piece back into the camaro all right guys i'll see you back in the garage all right folks well we worked on the race car today which is sunday i didn't really get to finish up everything i wanted to do on the t-top car today but we got a lot done on the race car you guys will see on friday so we're going to bring it back to my house this next weekend and i'm going to start working on the body work as well as get the t-top car you know steering wheel done and those four screws that i need for the center console uh like a uh, shifter plate so there's a few things i still got left to do but it has been a really good weekend. I hope to make it to the next car meet. Well, I'm pretty much guaranteed going to be at the next car meet here in Salida. Then there's another one here in August, like the very first week of August. So that's a really big car show in our small town, which there's only like a population of like less than 7,000 in Salida. And it's amazing how many cool cars are around this area. In that video, I'm sorry there wasn't as many cool cars around the area, but it was a really windy day. Not everybody wanted to bring their car out. Can't blame them. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's footage and stay tuned for the next footage on the race car with the quarter panel part two. And you guys have a great day.